all great people, Terrell Harris here. Today's question of the day is, how do we teach our six-year-old son about God without confusing him? Dr. Nick, thank you for the question again. Oh, this, is, this has been one of my favorite question, questions thus far because I'm 39 years old and I'm still confused about God. Um, but, you know, to answer your point or to answer your question, I'll give you a quick story. So I, re I remember being pulled in to do a Bible study for um, kids and, you know, I didn't have time to prepare. So I actually did a, a study or I did a little a short message on the creation story, thinking it was going to be easy, thinking I could actually talk about Adam and Eve. The age was a little bit interesting because I had anywhere from four-year-olds up until like nine-year-olds. And I remember the nine-year-old asking me after I told the story about Adam and Eve and creation, she says, this story doesn't make sense. And I was like, well, why do you say that? And she was like, well, if Adam and Eve had children and their children had children, they would have Down syndrome. <laughs> so being caught off guard, <laughs> you know, I had to revert to some of the things that we learned in seminary. And, and this sometimes it doesn't translate to the church and I'm not necessarily sure why, but we don't have all of the answers. So as it relates to teaching your, your six-year-old, I would say, you know, this is a very delicate stage. They may be inquisitive. They may have a lot of questions. And depending on your church setting, whether or not they're Sunday school or not, sometimes Sunday school will snuff out that curiosity that children have. And Sunday school actually will force children not to uh, think a certain way or force children to believe exactly what the teacher thinks. So as it relates to uh, what you believe, um, you really just have to be consistent and sure what you and your husband would like to instill in your child. And if they have questions that you can't answer, just be honest and say, you know, I, I really don't know that. And there are a lot of things about God we don't know. And some of the things will be confusing because, like I said, as adults, you know, we can look at the text. We could wonder why God blesses us um, and sometimes God doesn't bless us. We wonder why God hears our prayers and it seems like God's never answering. And it gets confusing to us as adults if we really are honest with ourselves. So I would say, don't be scared or, or discouraged. And then as it relates to your first question, uh, which I answered in a previous video, what you could actually do with you and your husband and your, your son is sit down and have family time and family discussions. And this will keep the message consistent because some of the things that you and your husband or study or choose to study, you could actually share with your son as well. Now, of course, some of the Bible or some of the biblical content is R-rated, so you may you may choose to guard against that. But you'll find it, you may find it interesting even in looking at some of the youth texts and the children's texts, that may pique your interest into doing more research, looking into commentaries and actually getting um, a little bit more critical with the text yourself as well. So I would say make it a family study time. Um, as it relates to your worship and your, your devotional time together as a family. Um, you know, I've also seen in church situations to where the kids and the adults are so separate that the messages never connect. And I think it would be awesome if you and your husband actually, you know, studied together and then studied that and shared that same information with your son. And then because your whole family could actually be on the same page and learn the same things at the same time. So that is my advice to you. Don't be discouraged because Sometimes God is confusing and, you know, whatever you decide to dig into as it relates to your own devotional time and your own study can also be shared with your six-year-old as well. And if they have questions you can't answer, just be honest. That is it. Once again, my name is Terrell Harris. If you are interested in more information like this, visit theopenbox.com. Uh, if you're on Facebook, be sure to like our page, like the message, share the message. And if you're on Twitter, be sure to retweet this message as well. And if you have any questions, shoot them to me and I'll answer them in a video. Peace.